I'm great. I'm happy to be here and、uh, delighted to talk to you and、uh, the broader audience today. So, digital infinite refraction is a more smooth and more relaxing process for the patient. First of all, it allows us to simultaneously adjust sphere, cylinder, and axis without disrupting. Anything in the patient's field of vision, and we avoid some of the endless bracketing and questions to the patient. In short, by taking everything that they say to integrate that into a final prescription. What we do traditionally does have some margin for error. There's always room for improvement.、Um, a lot of the problems that we experience with patients coming back with some. Symptoms with their new glasses, most of those really are due to the refraction, and obviously that's a doubly subjective process. The patient's being asked to respond, but the practitioner's also having to interpret those responses to come up with a result. With a digital infinite refraction, we can remove some of the subjectivity and. By improving the patient experience, we can hopefully improve their responses and ultimately the end result. Well, because we're stuck with a lot of moving lenses and analog technology, we're limited to quarter diopter steps. Okay, so the lenses are in quarter diopter steps in part because that was the way we used to surface lenses. Well, now, as I've already said, we have digital surfacing. Now, so a patient is limited to a quarter diopter steps, when in fact we know from research that most patients are sensitive to smaller increments. You know, how often is it we、um, ask a patient to choose between two lenses, and they say, "Well, they're kind of the same." Well, wouldn't it make sense to prescribe them the one in the middle rather than having to choose? Between those two options, the other thing is when we put the Jackson cross cylinder in front of their eye to measure their astigmatism, both in terms of power and axis, that cross cylinder is fixed. Whereas again, it would make more sense as the exam proceeds to modify and perhaps reduce that cross cylinder power and really hone in on what the patient's true. Astigmatism is, and not again be limited by quarter diopter steps. The other thing is that when we adjust the cylinder power, we really should be adjusting the sphere power. And some of us get a little bit lazy in doing so.、Um, we know that from survey and practitioners informally. But wouldn't it be nice if, when you did adjust the cylinder power, there was an automatic and seamless Adjustment to the sphere power to keep the spherical equivalent power constant. That's something that you can't do with a traditional analog phoropter because you have to move lenses、um, sequentially. Okay, with the new digital technology, sphere, cylinder, and axis can be adjusted simultaneously. Absolutely, we have data from different countries on the patient's response to a digital infinite refraction, and the results are overwhelming. Patients really value it; they regard a traditional、um, refraction as a stressful experience. It's right up there with colonoscopy and a root canal. You know, the things they hate about an eye examination: firstly, the air puff tonometer, the little shot of. Uh, air in their eye,、um, and then the sort of the grueling subjective examination. So, with this new technology, we can make that much more comfortable for the patient. They can feel more relaxed and more confident in their responses. They can say, "I like lens one or lens two." They can also say, "I don't know." All of that is considered in the final answer. Well, we've had. Automated for opters for quite some time, but remember, it's just an automation of the old analog for opter. It still uses the same spinning wheels, the same 
um, potentially obsolete technology that we've been using for 50, 80 years. Now, there are some new solutions. So Topcon has a system, I think they call the Kronos system. Um, and Leno has a thing called the iRefract. But both of them, again, still use the same analog lens technology with quarter diopter steps in front of the patient's eye. What the new digital infinite refraction technology gives us is a truly landmark breakthrough product that reduces the shackles of our traditional approach. And that allows us to explore different refraction methods, think about things in a vectorial uh, philosophy, and really hopefully not only improve the patient experience, but ultimately improve our outcomes. So this new digital infinite refraction technology is a game changer. It's truly gonna reshape the future of optometry, ophthalmology, and the way in which we examine our patients and prescribe for them.